So, yeah, if you're a human being who deals with other human beings, this is really important information to know as far as navigating human relationships, that there are these two opposite personae, almost like mirror images of each other. And I'll describe them in stereotypical terms for the purposes of utility and convenience. But basically, you have on one extreme this person who's highly empathic, like almost like to a psychic ability. They can walk in a room and read energy. They feel exactly what you're feeling. Their tragic flaw is... They don't communicate in a way that makes you feel that they feel what you're feeling. In fact, they're speaking a different language and other people feel misunderstood and confused by this person, which is ironic because they're really totally empathic and totally feeling your energy and they know when something's off. They know when you're feeling good. They know when you're feeling bad, but you don't feel that they feel what you're feeling. In fact, you feel like they're totally not getting it. That's one extreme. Then you have the opposite. The opposite does not feel what you're feeling. In fact, he's incapable of feeling what you're feeling. The only emotions he's capable of feeling are his own. Completely, completely, completely self-absorbed. But he's the mirror opposite of this other guy. He knows how to talk the talk and even to walk the walk, to say the words and even give the micro expressions that make you feel totally heard. So it's ironic. On this extreme, you have the guy who actually feels your feelings, but you feel that he can't relate to you and you feel very frustrated around him. On the other extreme, you have this guy who doesn't feel what you're feeling, can't feel what you're feeling, but you feel so validated by him. So if we're going to use convenient terms, and I don't mean this in any clinical sense, but colloquially, we'll call one extreme the autistic and we'll call the other the narcissistic the autistic has no cognitive empathy but he has incredible real empathy emotional empathy he's an antenna for your emotions but you don't feel that so he's isolated you're isolated there's a breakdown of communication loneliness and resentment the narcissistic personality he has incredible cognitive empathy he knows what makes people feel certain ways he does doesn't actually feel it. And that's why he's able to exploit it because it's no skin off his nose. It doesn't hurt him that you're hurting. To the contrary, it's to his advantage when he's around emotionally vulnerable people. So you have these two opposite types. And if you're quote unquote normal, meaning neurotypical, it would behoove you to learn about these two different characters who you're going to meet in your lifetime and to understand which one is which.